Ever since natural philosopher William Gilbert first observed parallels between electrical and magnetic attraction in the year 1600, natural philosophers everywhere had been trying to find a means to link the two forces. Gilbert, in 1600, noticed that the static electric attraction of amber had similar characteristics to the magnetic attraction of lodestone, but came to the conclusion that two different forces were at play here an electrical force and a magnetic force. Investigations into these phenomena would continue for the next two centuries with some scientists believing the two forces were not connected and others believing they were. This speculation would end in 1820 when an accidental discovery made by Danish physicist and chemist Hans Christian Ørsted would lead to the eventual theory that electrical attraction and magnetic attraction were two parts of the same electromagnetic force. Hans Christian Ørsted developed an interest in science at an early age while working for his father at the local pharmacy in southern Denmark. Most of the education Hans received was at home alongside his brother Anders and the two of them took entrance exams to the University of Copenhagen and excelled. By 1799, when Hans was 22 years old, he had received his doctorate from the university and had already been awarded honors for two of his papers written during his time there, one in aesthetics and one in physics. Upon graduation, Ersted worked as a lecturer and pharmacist for a short time before taking the first of many foreign trips his first one being to Germany. On this trip, Hans became acquainted with Johann Wilhelm Ritter, a chemist and physicist who adamantly believed that electricity and magnetism were interconnected at some fundamental level. Ersted became heavily influenced by Ritter's views as the two of them shared a passion for philosophy and connected on more levels than one. After returning from his trip to Germany, Hans began making unofficial lectures at the University of Copenhagen. He was not a paid lecturer at the time. Rather, he took payments from interested audience members. Hans was a gifted lecturer and his tactics paid off, as his lectures quickly gained a significant amount of attention, enough for the university to eventually give him an official position as lecturer of physical sciences in 1806. Ersted would maintain this position for decades, and Copenhagen was where he made his monumental discovery regarding electricity and magnetism. One year after Ersted graduated, in the year 1800, an invention was made that would set Ersted down a path that would lead him to his famous accidental discovery. This invention was made by Alessandro Volta, which he called the Pile. The voltaic pile was the first battery made that could provide an electric current to a circuit continuously and opened up the possibility for countless new potential experiments with electricity. While this battery expanded the potential with electricity, surprisingly, no connections were made between electricity and magnetism for an entire 20 years of the voltaic pile's use. This would change, however, on April 21st, 1820, a day when Ersted was preparing for a lecture at the University of Copenhagen. Upon setting up a closed circuit and electrifying a wire, Ersted noticed that the needle of a nearby compass jumped. Upon discovering this, Hans set up experiments throughout the months following the discovery to test the effects of a circuit on compass needles. The experimental setup for these tests was rather simple four compass needles were placed in spots surrounding a wire that was hooked up to a voltaic pile. When no current was applied, all the compass needles aligned with Earth's magnetic field. However, when the current was applied, the needles aligned themselves in a way that showed a circular magnetic field that was generated around the wire itself. Ersted published his discovery on July 1st, 1820 in a pamphlet entitled, Experiments on the Effect of an Electrical Current on the Magnetic Needle. The extent of Ersted's influence on the founding of the study of electromagnetism ends at this discovery, as much of the advancements in understanding 
were made by others soon after the release of his pamphlet. The most notable of these subsequent scientists was André-Marie Ampère, who made significant mathematical applications to the study. Regardless, the discovery made by Hans Christian Ersted was monumental. The connection Hans made between the two phenomena earned him considerable amounts of recognition, and he won the Copley Medal for his efforts in the exact same year as his discovery, in 1820. Ersted was not just known for connecting electricity and magnetism, for he was also a rather talented chemist. Not only was he the first person to isolate piperine the same year as his discovery in physics, but also was the first person to isolate aluminum in the year 1825. Ersted even extended his talents into the world of poetry and was in the middle of writing his book, The Soul in Nature, when he passed away in 1851. Hans Christian Ersted was a man of many talents, and his discovery connecting electricity and magnetism opened up a window leading to the unification of the two forces, settling a multi-century debate and leading scientists one step closer to a unified theory of everything. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Click here if you want to see more scientific progress made during this time period. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.